we are at uh, ansabad in our new house apartment at saint joseph tower and uh, this is going to be one of the hundreds of videos which will appear in due course of time on my youtube channel about the culinary expertise of my wife a uh, food historian and an expert on authentic goan cuisine and who has been writing for last 25 years on authentic goan cuisine in goa today magazine the navin times as well as the times of india in its uh, foundational stage that she will be now focusing on most important ingredients of uh, amache tonak which is world famous but it is not the way you think and uh, all other youtube videos will not give you this well researched authentic information which you will find only in this video and uh, these are the very tasty mushroom which i had brought for for research and we had to do something out of them after a certain number was preserved for further studies and examination so these are not just for enjoyment but for research as well as for understanding their uh, culinary quality so i request my wife here to melinda parera to proceed step wise and explain each and every step and each and every ingredient in a very simple easy to understand manner so that all of you will be able to see how this video is totally different than hundreds of videos which claim to be on authentic goan cuisine and there are very few such videos on authentic goan almeche tonak so ata ami tumka dakhaita kharech goinche goinkaranche almeche tonak je shakdani varsha pasun goyan lok karit asta te khais tumka detail recipe ta je meichi na mantakis ata hi recipe je asa je je sage ghatak je asat kiti kiti taje khatir vaparta ti melinda ata tumka dakhaitale one by one आणि ते तुम्ही पोहचे ओके दिस इज कोकनट ग्रेटेड कोकनट वन वळे वळे इज हाफ अ कोकनट देन अराउंड ट्वेल्व टू थर्टीन ऑफ मसुरी चिलीज रेड कलर आय हॅव गॉट कोरिएंडर सीड्स ओवर यो वन टेबल स्पून दिस इज अ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ नट मॅग टू ग्रीन कार्डमम्स क्लोव्स वन टी स्पून देन यू हॅव सिनेमन Uh, I have got body shape or any seed. This is a different type, which is called barik uh, body shape. One should never use the fatter type. You have to use the thinner one. Uh, half a teaspoon of methi seeds, uh, pepper corns, around ten. And I'm using green chilies over here. Plus, I'm using onion, one onion. Okay. So this is specially for the masala preparation, which I'm going to do now. I'm using extra virgin coconut oil. for my uh, this thing for my mushroom tonak it is around 1 tablespoon which i am using now what is the secret of a good tonak when you fry the onion it has to be brown in color now this is a uh, this thing common preparation i am uh, frying my this thing chilies so chilies have to be uh, you know slightly they should be brown in color then okay i fry the onion for any tonak or any roast the most important thing what you have to remember is how to fry the onion if you don't fry the onion properly then the taste of the uh, the taste of the tonak or roast will not be uh, what is that good or not tasty it won't be tasty and then i'm doing it on a very high flame Once the onion turns brown, I'll be frying the spices one by one. Now, what we have to remember is, you might have seen in many uh, YouTube videos, people use lot of poppy seeds, that is custard. I replace it with rice. That was the traditional way of uh, cooking mushrooms. That is, uh, rice is used as a thickener. Yes, it has started changing the color. As you can see, yes, 
Ja. I have to still fry it. I have to still fry the onion. Now, in one of my videos, you might have seen I have prepared fugeche pore and mushroom tona. Uh, the mushroom tona. I have kept the this thing. You have seen the ingredients on one side in a thali. Okay, in that I have used garlic. Now, using garlic for a mushroom tona is optional. Either you can use garlic or you can prepare it even without garlic. It depends. Generally, in the olden days, garlic was not available in Goa because it was not grown in Goa. Okay, so people wouldn't use. And this is the typical, authentic way of uh, what is that? Preparing a mushroom tona. Secondly, you can also grow body shape in your own house in a pot. Just grow the seeds, one or two seeds, and you will get a number of <coughs> more seeds. This could be used in your tona. Okay, now have you seen this color? Can you see this color? This is how the color has to change. Okay, the next I do is I keep this aside. I keep this onion aside and in the same pan, I am going to fry the masalas. I am using coconut oil again. I fry the coriander seeds first. <coughs> and this has to be done on a gentle fire. Then I fry the cloves and cinnamon. The methi seeds. <coughs> And the red chilies. Okay. Now that the red chilies have popped up, I shouldn't fry it for a very long time because the masalas get burnt and you know it gives a very off taste. And last what I do is I add the grated coconut. Okay. Now again I have to remember that I have to fry the coconut again till it turns its color. It has to be something like brownish in color. <coughs> yeah, I increase the heat now. Care has to be taken that it does not get burnt and stir it continuously. In between you can, uh, what is that, because you know it gives out a lot of smoke and heat. So you have to reduce the flame for some time. Then increase it again, increase the flame again. Yeah. Can you see how the color is changing? The color has to change slightly more and that is the time I will be using or adding turmeric, turmeric powder. Now this procedure of uh, roasting spices, the onion and what is that coconut is common even for a uh, acrosticum uh, or uh, ankur uh, tona, crack tona, egg tona. You might have seen in one of my videos I have cooked ankuracha tona. Okay, now it's still roasting. Now I'm going to add turmeric at this stage, turmeric powder. Around one teaspoon that gives a better flavor as well as color. And 
I increase the heat again. Now this proce this process has to continue for around two more minutes. And once I roast the spices. I have to keep it to cool down. Yeah. After still roasted, I am going to add a few uh, rice grains to this. rice over here. This is, uh, it will act as a thickener or a binder. Yeah, and I am roasting it. I am also roasting the rice grains. So, instead of khaskas or coffee seeds, this is the traditional way of uh, cooking on up with rice grains. Now, if you go to certain parts of Goa, where they also use nachni, that is ragi. done. Yeah. You can see the color change. See how it looks. It, the coconut has become quite dry. And you can see how the chilies have also popped up. Yeah. See the shine on the chilies. Okay. And can you see the green chilies, the color? Yeah, see how it has changed the color. It is called Hunara or in case you have a chula at home, you can roast the green chilies inside a chula. Or even the onion can be roasted inside a chula. Yeah, it is ready. Now I am switching off the flame. You can refer to my previous videos for how to prepare the gravy of mushrooms and I'm also going to add little bit of you know kokum in this while grinding I'm going to use tamarind but while cooking I'm going to use kokum the reason being you know it is slimy so it's because of kokum you know it uh, it separates the mushroom or it removes that sliminess or reduces it that's what I can say so that is why we use kokum. So we'll be dedicating this uh YouTube video to William this was the drummer uh, yes yes why uh, he was a great friend of mine William was a great friend of mine and we should talk for hours together sometimes about Goan food especially the Indo-Portuguese food and he used to sometimes tell me about uh, you know the soups which were made in Goa and Karl Wirth and sometimes he used to talk on about um, uh, sopa de legumes and sopa de feijão you know something which we have not heard of so he was a great lover of food and he used to also have discussions with me about food so I think this particular what is that um, recipe or this particular so how recipe. now everybody claims to show now YouTube videos on authentic Goan cuisine now how you Melinda Pereira's this video is going to be different See, the ingredients which I have used in my cooking are slightly different from the others. Like for example, I give you one example of couscous. Instead of couscous, our ancestors used to use either rice or they used to use nashmi. That is ragi, finger millet. Okay. Secondly, I have used methi. Most of the ingredients which are used are grown in Goa. Like cloves grow in Goa, cinnamon grows in Goa. But then, you know, this came with the Portuguese, after the Portuguese came. Now, green chilies and red chilies 